Embark on a journey to freedom by embracing a liberating truth. You are not just living a life, you are life itself. Often we view life as a heavy burden, laden with anxiety and fear, feeling trapped in an endless cycle of seeking relief. But what if the idea of having a life is an illusion, a creation of our ego? Imagine the possibilities when you realize that the identity you've constructed is just a mental narrative, not the essence of who you indeed are. This revelation invites a profound transformation. But how do we achieve this state of liberating awareness? In exploring the profound concept of freeing oneself by realizing a simple truth, it's essential to delve into the nature of life and our perception of it. Often we perceive life as a series of responsibilities and burdens. This perception can lead to a feeling of being weighed down and longing to escape life's complexities and challenges. However, this sense of burden comes from a fundamental misunderstanding of what life truly is. The first step in this journey of self-liberation is understanding the illusion of the ego. The ego is a mental construct, a collection of thoughts, memories and experiences that create the illusion of a distinct self. It gives us the impression that we are isolated individuals navigating a world separated from ourselves. This sense of separation can be the root of much suffering and anxiety. However, the truth is far more liberating. We are, in fact, not separate entities, but part of a more extensive, interconnected web of existence. Our identities are simply transient expressions of a greater universal consciousness. This understanding can dramatically shift our perspective on life and our place in the world. Realizing that we don't have a life, but instead our life, can be a freeing concept. It lets us let go of our ego-driven identity and the illusion that we have control over our existence. This doesn't mean becoming passive or disengaged from the world. Instead, it's about acting from a place of awareness and mindfulness, free from the burdens of ego. Practically, this realization lets us release our fixation on outcomes, anticipations and anxieties. We can focus more on the present moment, cultivating a sense of mindfulness that transcends our identity. This shift in focus allows us to connect with the universal consciousness that underpins all existence, fostering a sense of unity with the world around us. Moreover, this understanding that you don't have a life means that you can surrender to the natural flow of life, trusting that everything happens as it should. It's not about predicting or controlling outcomes, but about being present and open to life's experiences. This realization has profound implications for how we live. Without the weight of an ego to carry, we can engage with the world in a more genuine, unencumbered way. We can act and react by our true nature, which is far more fluid and connected than the rigid identities our egos construct. This journey towards understanding that we are not just individuals living a life, but life itself is transformative. It allows us to see beyond the narrow confines of our constructed identities and embrace a more expansive, interconnected view of existence. But how do we begin to dissolve the barriers of the ego and embrace this more expansive understanding of life? How do we shift from seeing ourselves as separate entities to recognizing our role as integral parts of a larger whole? The path to this realization is simple and profound, beginning with looking inward. Embarking on this transformative journey begins with introspection, a deep dive into the essence of our being. To dissolve the barriers of the ego and embrace a broader understanding of life, we start by questioning our ingrained beliefs and perceptions. This inquiry is not just intellectual, it's experiential, a process of peeling back layers of conditioned thought to reveal a more fundamental truth. One practical approach is through meditation and mindfulness practices. These practices help us observe our thoughts and emotions without attachment, recognizing them as transient phenomena rather than defining aspects of our identity. Practicing mindfulness lets us gradually loosen the ego's grip, allowing us to experience life more directly and authentically. Another critical aspect is embracing the concept of impermanence, acknowledging that everything in life, our thoughts, emotions, experiences, and even our physical selves, is constantly changing, helps us detach from the idea of a fixed, separate self. This understanding fosters a deeper connection with the flow of life, where change is the only constant. Practicing compassion and empathy is also crucial. By cultivating a sense of compassion for ourselves and others, we break down the barriers of the ego that make us feel separate and isolated. 
Empathy allows us to experience life from the perspective of others, further dissolving the illusion of separation. Gratitude plays a significant role in this journey. By focusing on appreciation for the present moment and its myriad experiences, we shift our attention away from the ego's preoccupations with the past and future. This shift fosters a deeper engagement with life as it unfolds, enhancing our sense of connection and belonging. Engaging in activities that transcend the self, such as art, music, or service to others, can facilitate this shift. These activities provide opportunities to experience flow states, moments where the self recedes into the background and we become fully immersed in the activity. Such experiences can offer glimpses into a state of being that transcends the ego. It's important to remember that this journey is not about eliminating the ego. The ego has its role in helping us navigate the practical aspects of life. Instead, the goal is to understand its place within a broader context and not let it dominate our perspective. By incorporating these practices into our lives, we gradually shift our perspective from seeing ourselves as isolated entities to recognizing our interconnectedness with all of existence. We start to experience life not as something happening to us, but as something we are a part of, a dynamic, ever-changing flow of energy and consciousness. But what does it mean to live in this place of interconnectedness? How does this shift in perspective influence our daily lives, relationships, and sense of purpose? Living from a place of interconnectedness dramatically reshapes our approach to life, relationships, and purpose. When we embrace our interconnected nature, we start to view our actions and their impact through a lens of collective well-being rather than individual gain. This shift leads to a more harmonious, fulfilling way of life. This perspective encourages us to act with greater awareness and consideration in our daily lives. We make choices that are both good for us and beneficial for others and the environment. This could mean adopting sustainable habits, being more compassionate in our interactions, or being present in each moment. We begin to appreciate the small wonders of life, finding joy in nature's beauty, the warmth of human connections, and the simple act of being alive. Our relationships transform as we start valuing empathy and understanding over ego-driven conflicts. We listen more, speak less, and try to understand others' perspectives. This means keeping our identity and upholding our values and recognizing the shared human experience in each interaction. Conflicts may still arise, but they are approached with a mindset of resolution and growth rather than winning or losing. A sense of interconnectedness often leads to re-evaluating our life's purpose. We may find fulfillment in contributing to the greater good through our career choices, volunteer work, or creative endeavors. Our actions align with a more profound sense of meaning, driven by the desire to enhance collective well-being rather than solely pursuing personal success. This shift can lead to societal changes on a larger scale. Individuals acting from a place of interconnectedness foster a more compassionate, understanding, and cooperative society. This can influence everything from business practices and political policies to educational systems and community initiatives. Embracing interconnectedness doesn't mean life becomes free of challenges. However, our approach to these challenges changes. We see them as opportunities for growth and learning, both personally and collectively. We understand that our struggles are part of a larger tapestry, and by overcoming them, we contribute to the collective resilience. This journey also deepens our mindfulness practice. We become more attuned to the present moment, appreciating the here and now, and less preoccupied with past regrets or future anxieties. This presence brings peace and contentment as we realize that true happiness is found in the journey, not just the destination. In conclusion, realizing the simple truth that we are part of a greater whole can be incredibly liberating and transformative. It shifts our perspective from isolation to unity, bringing more depth and meaning to our lives. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you to reflect on your journey and how this understanding resonates with you. How do you see yourself in the tapestry of life? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with others. Don't forget to turn on notifications to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery and interconnectedness.